Now Pebbles. This one is an interesting one. Uh, the Teletubbies are walking around the tree. There's something about the scene uh, feels so weird. Like, uh, like it looks kind of mirrored, in my opinion. Like, the scene looks mirrored. I don't know why I think that. And, like, there's this weird error where, like, they hear the windmill spinning. And they look this way. Rather than cutting to the windmill spinning before that happens, the Teletubbies look back at the camera, and then they see the windmill spinning. Apparently. It's kind of like in some of the earlier episodes where they were looking at the windmill spinning, and then when it cuts back to them, they're, like, turning their heads back to the camera. But in, like, most later episodes, after it shows the windmill spinning, their heads are already facing the camera and saying, uh-oh. I feel like that's kind of, like, what happened, but it just seems weird. It's kind of weird. Also, the TV event music is used quite a lot in these later episodes. I swear it is. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I feel like I might as well mention it now. And Poe is chosen for a TV event. Uh, these kids are, like, looking for some pebbles on the beach, and they're making a face uh, out of them. Kind of like what they did in the Leaves episode. And, like, the next scene involves the tubby toaster not working properly, but when it does work, they make, like, a pattern of tubby toasts. So yeah. And then uh, they go do the shortened version of the stretching dance. Like I said before, the shortened version of the dance is practically like the third part of the dance. Which makes it kind of a short dance, actually. <sighs> but yeah, and then the windmill starts spinning normally. They say, uh-uh, run off, and then stop spinning. Before that happens, in the Sunday special version, they watch the animal parade. I think it has the elephant's trumpet, I'm not sure. The voice trumpet's rising is delayed. Lala's the missing Teletubby, and Tinky Week is the bow shouter. Otters, this one's kind of a weird one. There's another one of those, like, like, sketches, I think, where, like, the Teletubbies are trying to, like, fix the control panel. They're making adjustments. But this one, Dipsy fails at it. Also, the Nunu is involved. I don't think he was involved with the other segments. Yeah, N Dipsy's trying to, like, fix the thing by making adjustments, but he shuts off the machine. I'm not kidding. Pretty weird. But yeah. And he sees a zoomed out window windmill clip. And Lala's chosen for a TV event. These kids are looking for some otters, of course. Kind of like the otters pip and pop from Bear in the Big Blue House. And then the next scene involves Dipsy and Poe going on a play date. Or something. They're like playing all around Teletubby Land and stuff. And then the camera cuts to the voice trumpet. And Poe is the missing Teletubby and Tiki Wee. Or, not Tinky Wiki, Dipsy is the boo shouter. Decorating boxes. This one's a weird episode. Uh, this one has a weird version of the bumping dance at the beginning. It's a shortened version. It has the right path to opening shot without the windmill on screen. And, like, at the end of the dance, uh, the Teletubbies go back inside the house. But then uh, it shows the bird's eye view windmill clip. And then the Teletubbies come back outside and they see the windmill spinning. And they say, uh-oh, -uh, watch the TV event. But yeah, apparently. Apparently, like, in the Sunday special version, this dance showed up at the very end. And, like, after they go back inside, it shows the bird's eye view windmill clip and the Teletubbies coming outside, like, before. But then, like, after they come back outside, the windmill stops spinning. And they say, uh-oh, -uh, run off. But now we're talking about, like, the regular episode. Dipsy's chosen for a TV event. The TV event plays once here, uh, this time. And, like, these kids are decorating boxes, making different things out of them. It kind of reminds me of, like, this one Barney episode where they're, like, playing with a bunch of boxes that were delivered to Barney in the park. Or maybe, like, the show Out of the Box. You remember that? Out of the box. Out of the box. Take one box and put it with another let's look for one that's long and wide <laughs> i can't believe i just sang that song i should do like a separate video on out of the box but then like a jack-in-the-box appears what's in the box a jack-in-the-box and then jack in box like hello <laughs> that thing looks so weird it almost looks like the jack-in-the-box from that one booba episode which I might also do a separate video on that. I don't know. Uh, Tiki Winky's the missing Teletubbies. Lala's the boo shouter. Uh, Kathic 
dancing, I think that's how you pronounce it. Teletubbies are bumping tummies, apparently. <laughs> and yeah, this one uses a longer version of the Field 2 opening shot, uh, where it shows extended shot uh, for like the last few seconds. Like usually like when the camera freezes at the field in the background, uh, it would just immediately like fade to like the next opening shot or the next segment, but it shows like a few more seconds of that field. This actually happens quite a lot in this season, uh, but yeah. Um, then Tinky Week is chosen for a TV event. These kids are doing some special kind of dance. And then, like, the next scene has the Right Path 2 opening shot without the windmill on screen. Yeah, the Teletubbies are playing with the wrong favorite thing as they're, like, swapping them around. Pretty weird. After that, in the Sunday special version, I think they do the extended version of the running away, or round and round dance. I don't know. Dipsy's the missing Teletubby and Poe's the Boo Shouter. Oh, great, look at this. More Christmas episodes. Yeah. Uh, this next one is... Christmas in South Africa. This one has an opening scene where the Teletubbies are looking for their favorite things. The beginning part of the segment uses a clip from the Samira's Gymnastics uh, episode. But yeah. And the TV event starts. Poe is chosen for the TV event. Her antenna lights up a bit longer than usual. I guess you could say that. But yeah. These kids are on the farm in South Africa, and it's not snowing, just to let you know. And yeah, they're getting ready for Christmas. This guy in a horrible Santa suit shows up and gives them presents. One of them gets socks, apparently. They get some good candy. It looks okay. They cut down a tree to decorate, and it looks okay, I guess. Yeah, but when it suddenly turned like nighttime at the end of the video... <laughs> But yeah, and then like this next scene has the Right Path 2 opening shot with the windmill on screen. The Teletubbies are playing with their favorite things again, but a bunch of clouds appear playing instrumentals of songs from each of these five TV events that we're going to be talking about. But yeah, and it snows. It snows all over Teletubby land and the Teletubbies are like, run away! It's like they had never seen snow before, even though we already had that other Christmas episode. Uh, Merry Christmas, Teletubbies, or whatever. So yeah, they go back inside, and it starts snowing all over Teletubby land. And, like, yeah, apparently. And they're playing in the snow, and they like it, apparently. And the camera cuts to the voice trumpet. I think it's like halfway up in this. And yeah... Lala's the missing Teletubby and Tiki Wiki's the boo shouter. For the rest of these Christmas in the Snow episodes, they actually reshot a few things uh, for these episodes. Uh, basically, like the opening intro, which has Tinky Winky being the missing Teletubby for this episode, uh, at the end of the theme song, it starts snowing as the voice trumpet says, Where have the Teletubbies gone? And they use these unique opening shots for each segment. Basically, so yeah, this next one has uh, a scene where Poe remembers the snow. She, like, looks outside to see the snow, apparently. And, like, in each of these episodes, they use these modified versions of these windmill clips. Like, they didn't even reshoot these clips of, like, the windmill spinning or Tubby Bye Bye or the TV event starting. They just used the same clips they usually use, but they photoshopped it to look like there's snow on the ground. How did I not realize for years how fake that was? That they, like, just photoshopped a bunch of snow in there. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, I think I drooled a little. <laughs> uh, Lala's chosen for a TV event. These kids from Finland are singing this uh, Finnish uh, song uh, about, like, elves or something. I don't know what they're saying because it's a different language. TikTok, TikTok, or something like that. Uh, in the Korean version of this episode, there's a different TV event where these kids are having a snow day. They're playing in the snow all over their town. Yeah. The next scene, the Teletubbies see... And for all these episodes, the the second scene, the later scene, they all use the same opening shot of, like, the house, and it's, like, snowing, and then the snow stops. 
And, like, the Teletubbies see everything covered in snow. They see all their favorite things covered in snow, because if you remember, they left them out there after they ran away. So, yeah. But then, like, Poe, like, rides her scooter and bumps into a tree, which I swear we never see in any other episodes of the show. Actually, I think we do see in two later episodes, but we'll get to that later. But, yeah, and then she gets covered in snow. It's a pretty weird scene. The only, like, kind of stock footage they reshot uh, for uh, these uh, Christmas and Snow episodes was the voice trumpet rising up and saying, Time for Tubby, bye-bye. Yeah, they, like, reshot the entire thing. In fact, in this episode, the voice trumpet's halfway up, which I didn't expect to see. But, like I said, Tinky Winky's the missing Teletubby, but he's also the boo shouter. I'm not kidding. Now, Christmas in the United Kingdom... Dipsy remembers the snow now. Yes, this is a recurring sketch for these opening scenes in these episodes. But yeah, uh, the TV event. Uh, Tinky Week is chosen for a TV event. These uh, kids are doing some gospel singing. Amen. Amen! <laughs> yeah. And like the Korean version, they do a different uh, uh, TV event where these kids are singing different Christmas songs. Like, I think they sing like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer or something, I forget. And the Teletubbies are playing very carefully in the snow, but Tinky Winky is not. And he slips and slides down the hill. And like the other Teletubbies do it, but Dipsy's not sure about it. But then he slides down, and it's pretty crazy when he does. There's a slight delay in the voice trumpets rising. And like Dipsy's the missing Teletubby and Poe's the boo shouter. Now Christmas in Spain. Yes, I have enough time. I was just seeing if I had enough time. Uh, Lala remembers the snow now. Uh, but yeah. Also in that one where Poe remembers the snow. She's like doing this weird karate move. But yeah, Dipsy is chosen for a TV event. These kids are doing some special like uh, uh, ritual thing that they do in Spain during Christmas time. And they get like a bunch of presents. One of the presents has like a Mickey Mouse box. Does anyone else notice that? And Lala makes a snowball, which is really small, but then it rolls away and it gets bigger. And it goes into the house, but when it goes into the house, the windmill is not seen in the background. It's like nowhere to be seen. And like the Nunu is now covered in snow, and he tidies it up. I'm not kidding. The voice trumpet's rising is delayed as well in this. Also, the windmill does appear during the closing shot <laughs> at the end, which is pretty weird. Uh, Tinky Week is the Missing Teletubby and Dipsy is the Boo Shouter. This episode also aired on Christmas Eve of 1998. Uh, this next one aired on Christmas Day. Yeah, Happy Christmas Teletubbies. Which is how they say Merry Christmas in, like, the UK. I find it weird that they say happy. This sounds like happy birthday, though. Yeah, Nativity Play. Um... Tinky Winky remembers the snow this time. This scene is actually quite short uh, than compared to the other scenes. Poe is chosen for TV events. These kids are doing a nativity play. That's where they retell the story of the birth of Jesus Christ, uh, which is how Christmas was made. Yeah, they sing like, Twinkle, twinkle, little star. That's kind of cute. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I, I can't sing that high. And then they make a bunch of snowballs once again, and they use them to build a snow tubby. And they give the snow tubby their favorite things, kind of like uh, when Jesus Christ was born and those uh, wise men uh, were, like, giving him presents. So, yeah. And then, like, a face uh, shows up on the snow tubby. And, yeah, and they're all happy and stuff. They're, like, playing around with the snowman or snow tubby. And it starts snowing again. And, yeah, that's pretty cool. Tinky Winky's the missing Teletubby, and Lala's the boo shouter. Yeah. And that's it for this part. See you in the next part.